guys welcome back so today I wanted to do kind of like a more personal video I wanted to talk about my relationship like I've shown my boyfriend on here before and I never really talk about him though or our relationship that much so I kind of feel like I have some advice that I could share with you guys I guess I'm just thinking about this a lot because my um, two-year anniversary with my boyfriend is coming up next week um, it's on February 24th and we have always had a long-distance relationship you know a lot of people don't really consider it long distance because we only live like 45 minutes from each other but really it's like an hour I guess I just drive really slow or something we we don't go to the same college so we'll go through our whole week we won't see each other at all and then we'll be together like the whole weekend so I'll go stay with him or he'll come stay with me for the most part we're able to make it work and we don't ever really have issues like we never fight like ever I think we have like a very healthy relationship he's always prioritized me as number one he always puts me first before everything and I've always been that way in my relationships too I just think it's important to put your like person that you're with first before anything else and I know a lot of people and a lot of girls say like you shouldn't ever put a boy before your friends but at this point in my life I do see a future with him and he knows that I know he feels that way about me we've talked about it so when you're with someone who you could potentially marry one day I don't think that it's a bad thing to want to spend all your time with them because one day you will be with them all the time so you have to make sure that you like being with them all the time and I'm not saying I never do stuff with my friends because I definitely do I pretty much give up my weekends and spend all that time with him so I kind of stopped going out and doing single girl things because like most of my friends are single actually I think all of my friends are single so they always like to you know go out to the bars and like hang out with guys and stuff like that and go to fraternity parties and that's just really not what I'm interested in doing at the moment I don't know I, I definitely still spend a lot of times with my friends it's just during the week and you know here and there I will do stuff with them on the weekends all the girls that are really good friends of mine have stayed with me like the whole time that I've been in this relationship and have supported me and they understand that I have to go see him on the weekends because I don't get to see him during the week so our relationship would not work if we didn't see each other on the weekends. I know I just kind of went on a tangent about friends supporting you in relationships, but I just think it's something that need to be needed to be said because I know a lot of girls do get like criticized for doing that. So if you have a relationship like that and you feel like you are having to choose between your friends and your boyfriend, don't feel that way. You don't have to choose. You can have both. Trust me. Everything will be okay. You may lose some friends, but I promise those friends will not be friends that you probably will have for the rest of your life anyways, because if they're willing to walk away from you that easily, then they don't really care about you that much, obviously. I think being in a long distance relationship has definitely taught me patience because we definitely do like have miscommunication a lot because we are communicating through text a lot of the time and stuff can just come across wrong and I mean it's never anything like dramatic but sometimes like just minor things we can get confused but we always end up calling each other and working things out over the phone and usually we end up realizing that one of us just like misunderstood something. I think just communication is key and if if you can't get your boyfriend or girlfriend to communicate with you, you're going to have a lot of trouble being long distance because that is really the only way that you can make it work. I'm very fortunate to be able to see him as much as I get to see him. I know there's some people who don't get to see their boyfriends for like months at a time. When I met my boyfriend, I didn't realize that he was that far away. I just really liked him right off the bat and um, I kind of immediately had like this feeling that he was like gonna be someone that I was gonna fall in love with and I had never really been in love with anyone before so for some reason I just knew like I had to be with him. I followed it and I continued like talking to him even though I found out that he was like a further distance away I literally did not care. I was like we'll make this work somehow. I like I want to be with you. I like you so much and yeah I fell for him pretty quickly. It just felt right so I kept seeing him and I realized that he was like the guy that I had been wanting. He treats me so well with so much respect and I know that he would do anything for me no matter what. He would always do anything for me to make me happy. Sometimes it's hard to find guys who care about your happiness. They just care about their own happiness. I mean we are young and most people that at this age are very like self-absorbed, very concerned with themselves but he 
He's the most selfless person I've ever met. I can't even put into words how lucky I am to be with him. And okay, I know I'm getting like really sappy right now, so I'm just gonna stop. But I just want you guys to know that if you're very skeptical of long distance relationships and you are like very anti, because I know I've always been the type of person I would never do a long distance relationship. Like people who do that are crazy. I would always say that, especially because I do go to a school with a lot of students from out of state. I've met a lot of people who have like long distance boyfriends from like high school that they stayed with. It never works out. Like 99% of the time it doesn't work out. One of them ends up cheating on each other and then there's so much drama or like they just break up or whatever. I've seen so many long distance relationships fail miserably so I've always been so like anti but actually believe it or not I'm in one and I never would have thought that I would be, but it's really not as bad as like it could be because we really aren't that far away from each other and we do get to see each other pretty regularly, but sometimes it is still hard. If you feel something and you know it's going to be long distance, but you really want to be with the person, just do it because circumstances can change. You can end up moving closer. If you're meant to be with them, it will work out. Honestly, like some don't work out, but it's better to take the risk. Maybe it won't work out, but maybe it will. And I'm the type of person that I don't ever want to leave something unfinished or like without closure. Like I need to see things through. Otherwise, I will always wonder. I will just drive myself crazy thinking about like all the different scenarios scenarios of like what could have happened if things had been different if I had decided to do something different I always will wonder and I personally don't want to live like that and I'm sure a lot of other people feel that way so trust me if you're feeling something go for it because it really could work out I think I've said everything that I kind of wanted to say but yeah so I hope this video was helpful for you guys hopefully some of it made sense and some of it kind of like resonated with some of you I'm sure someone that's watching this can relate in some way but if you need a sign to be in a relationship with someone that you're kind of on the fence about because they're kind of far away or whatever this is your sign just go for it I will see you all in my next video very soon and I think my next video is actually um, no, my next video is not going to be with my boyfriend. The following video will be, though. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video on Tuesday. Bye!